My name is Sandeep. I manage the products that we do on Qualcomm. Uh, I, I kind of productize the services. So what do we see here? So uh, we see a range of songs that uh, we have done on Qualcomm IoT processors from the lower end till the premium sector. Uh, we have a couple of reference designs here uh, from their high-end processor, the QCS6490. We have implemented a video conferencing uh, proof of concept. Uh, you can make a Teams call from the device to my phone or from a phone back to the device. It has an HDMI input. You can connect uh, your laptop to the HDMI input and kind of show your content while you're presenting to the person remotely. And this is a reference design, a dev kit on Qualcomm's latest processor, the QCS 8550, running Linux, uh, Qualcomm's latest offering to the open source world where they, they want to make their version of Linux uh, more closer to the mainline kernel. So it's a fully upstream, everything is it good? Is, it is, that is their intent. So uh, they are releasing this fully upstream kernel uh, for some processors today, 8550 is one of them, 6490 also has a version. Yeah, and, and it also has a good GPU acceleration? It does, it does. It does. So as you go up from their lower tier to the premium tier, their GPU performance uh, increases, and heterogeneous computing where they offload the uh, two different, the DSP, CPU, and uh, GPU is, uh, increases as they go up to uh, Nice. Tier. And what do we see here, some binoculars? Yeah, yeah. So, this so is what one, is this? This is one of the products made by Swarovski. Uh, so it, it uses one of the chipsets from our... Yeah. Yeah, uh, and the... The intent is to recognize uh, what you see through the binoculars. They have different applications for birds, for butterflies, for dragonflies, and maybe you can create, they enable developers to create applications so you could have something for beetles or yeah. for anything. So this is a That's amazing. Cool you look through it and it's going to tell you what you see. Yeah, it's going to tell you which bird it is. You can take pictures with it. and. The, the coolest feature is that you can pass on the binocular, it's called point of interest, you can pass on the binocular to your friend to see uh, exactly what you saw through the binoculars. It's so, like weird, you're, yeah. you're wondering if you live in a virtual world. <laughs> it's, uh, okay, that sounds cool. Yeah. It, it, does it work? It does. You can, it, it's a product. It's a product. It, it, it's available in the market today. So. And, Carriera mid weit blick. <laughs> All right, people can check these right here. Yeah, yeah, these QR codes will take you to, you, you can buy it today. Um, so if you use this to look at the bird over there? Yeah, it will recognize what species it is. It can recognize up to uh, 9,000 species today. Cool, awesome. <laughs> All right, so you help people make real products out there. Yes. What's yes. the CPU in there? Uh, that's QCS 605, that's one of the high tier uh, Qualcomm socks. So you need to charge it with a Type-C? Uh, yeah, it has a battery inside and charging, uh, you have to take the battery out and it has a separate charger. Uh, uh, the battery lasts for a full day. Uh, if you are out birding, it can last the full day. What does it do in the middle there? That's the camera. This part is the camera and these are the binoculars. So you can record everything? You can take pictures of what you see. The you, rec you see a bird, you video? recognize it, video, and you can, uh, nice. you can take pictures. Yeah. And really high quality pictures. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah.